You know, um, I think each one of us is offended by something that we disagree with, as has been said throughout the day. So uh, by definition, anybody who is challenging the status quo, anybody who is protesting things as they are, anybody who is advocating law reform, social justice reform throughout history has been accused of offensive speech and dangerous speech. You know, go back and look at the abolitionists who were censored, go back and look at the civil rights demonstrators who were censored. Why did Martin Luther King write his famous letter from a Birmingham jail? And you look at the laws that were raised against him and other civil rights protesters, they were accused of offending the community values. They were accused of uh, endangering the welfare of the republic, things as they are. That was certainly true for the suffragist movement, for the women's rights movement, the reproductive freedom movement. Uh, Margaret Sanger spent a lot of time in prison. Obviously true for the LGBT rights movement. Uh, they're advocating their sexuality, even coming out of the closet and self-identifying was seen as offensive. So as Justice John Marshall Harlan, uh, I'm honored to have the, uh, a chaired professorship named after him, and he was a great First Amendment justice, a conservative Republican, by the way. He said, one man's vulgarity is another man's lyric. And I would say one person's offensive speech is somebody else's challenging the status quo, rocking the boat speech. So